What's up guys and welcome to another speed test comparison of the Pixel 4 XL versus the OnePlus 70 Pro. The OnePlus 70 Pro is one of the first non-Google phone to come with Android 10.0 right out of the box. So this is going to be the first speed test where I will be comparing a Android 10 device versus an Android 10 device. So it's going to be exciting to see how these devices will stack up. So as always, we kick things off with a boot up comparison on both phones. Here we go. And... As far as the specs are concerned, we have Snapdragon 855 Plus on the 70 Pro versus Snapdragon 855 on the Pixel 4 XL. And you can see Pixel is, once again, is keeping its title of being the fastest phone when it comes to booting up. And by quite a lot of margin, you can see it is way faster than the OnePlus 70 Pro is now done. All right, so both phones are in position. I just realized that this is the first time I'm comparing two phones with 90 hertz display. Hopefully by next year, every single flagship phone will have a 90 hertz refresh rate display. I think it's gonna be a major, major common feature. But right now, Google and OnePlus have done this thing. It definitely make things so, so much smoother. All right, let's get down to the business, which is the apps opening first up. Starting with the basic phone dialer on both phones, here we go. And that was super quick, I would say. Uh, draw on both phones. Okay, moving on to settings. And that was, again, it felt about the same on both phones. Moving on to some third-party actions, starting with Subway Surfers. And that is faster on the Pixel 4 XL. So, mind you, this is Snapdragon 855 and this is Snapdragon 855 Plus. So, what you're seeing is pretty exciting and interesting obviously so next up we've got reddit and that is uh super quick on both phones i think that's about the same on both phones if we go ahead and scroll around and okay a bit of weird scrolling on the one plus i think i just have to give it a second to load up and now it's smooth on both phones so let's just leave it there Cora. And that's a little bit quicker on the OnePlus 70 Pro. Checking out Call of Duty. And let's see. Can the OnePlus 70 Pro beat the Snapdragon 855 powered Pixel 4 XL in terms of game loading times? And no. Okay, Pixel faster with Call of Duty loading time. Let's just close this. Next on the list is Asphalt 9. This is really interesting. Snapdragon 855 being faster than 855 Plus. Exciting. Both phones are on the loading page. And Pixel 4 XL once again beats OnePlus 70 Pro in terms of loading up of the Asphalt 9. Incredible performance. I mean, apps opening speed has been amazing on this phone throughout in all of my tests. Um, apart from the RAM management. If Google just fixed that, I think this could very well be the fastest phone of this year that I have tested out so far. I'm not even kidding. Like, this is really good performance. And it's quite surprising because I did not expect it at all, especially not against the OnePlus 70 Pro. So, uh, going to launch Spotify on both phones, and that felt a little bit quicker on the 70 Pro. YouTube. And that's a about the same, bit of different feed, but about the same result on both phones. Twitter. And once again, feels like a draw. OnePlus showed the refresh thingy a bit quicker there, but pretty much very smooth performance on both phones. Let's just leave it there. We've got GTA San Andreas on the list as well. And once again, both phones are neck and neck all right time to start the game at the same time boom yay yay and pixel 4 xl wins once again <laughs> this is this is amazing guys are you seeing what i'm seeing this is so good okay really really nice performance pixel 4 xl is really bringing the fight man i this is pure Android, you know, you can have the same hardware or even better hardware, the Snapdragon 855 Plus on the 7D Pro, but the pure Android is giving this phone the edge for sure. Next on the list, we have Photoshop Express. 
let's do some 8K image editing that's about the same on both phones. The 8K image is on the timeline, so I'm putting the vibrancy all the way to the max, setting the sharpness to 100% as well. Okay, and clarity to 100% as well. Adding some dehazing, and let's just export this image to full 100% quality. Again, same GPU. This is where OnePlus could actually win because you know, it, it has a higher clock GPU, so it's just uh, gonna do this at the same time, save to gallery on both phones, and let's see. All right, both are taking some time, and OnePlus is done. Okay, so I was right with this prediction because obviously higher clock speed, 855 plus is better with the rendering stuff. So moving on, Instagram application, and that is definitely quicker, slightly quicker on the OnePlus 70 Pro. We check out the scrolling speed. It's uh, definitely really quick on both phones. Loading up my profile um, felt a little bit quicker on the 70 Pro. Going back, checking out Instagram camera speed. That's about the same. Even with the moving camera system, OnePlus is neck and neck with the Pixel 4 XL. That just really blows my mind, guys. That is incredible performance. All right, let's go ahead and open the camera app on both phones. Uh, that is definitely quicker on the Pixel 4 XL. Now time for the browsing board. We've got Google Chrome browsers. Uh, these are the default browsers on both phones, so I'm using that. Uh, WB.com, really, really quick on both phones, uh, but I think the OnePlus 70 Pro is quicker with this website let's just check out scrolling speed really smooth on both phones 90 hertz beauty right here let's check out this link and definitely quicker on the oneplus 70 pro all right next up we have apple.com and that is super quick again oneplus 70 pro faster there loading up this link and once again seems to be quicker on the OnePlus 70 Pro. So browsing war goes to the OnePlus 70 Pro. Um, I think that is the 855 plus edge over the 855 in the browsing war. But let's see the weakest point of the Pixel, which is the RAM management. If you have not seen my previous speed test, uh, the thing is Pixel has some kind of lock on the RAM management. It basically only keeps like three or four recent apps. Uh, so it just closes everything in the background. Let's see if it's going to be something different this time. Uh, seems like phone dialer got refreshed on the Pixel. Let's see settings. Seems like it got refreshed on both phones. Subway surfers. And both phones have refreshed this one as well. Reddit. And that also got refreshed on both phones. OnePlus is refreshing the applications definitely because of its gaming mode. Cora, that is still there on the OnePlus. Whereas Pixel had to refresh this. Call of Duty, uh, that got refreshed on both phones. OnePlus, again, because of its gaming mode, it is doing all those refreshes. I mean, this is not that good. Pixel, obviously. Asphalt 9, that is still there on the OnePlus. Pixel is still doing the uh, refreshes, as always. Spotify, still there on the Pixel. I mean, still there on the OnePlus. Got refreshed here. YouTube, Twitter. And uh, okay, this one is still opened on both phones. GTA San Andreas, uh, got refresh on both devices. ES Express, that's still there on the OnePlus. Instagram, still there on both phones. Okay, so far only two applications are in the memory. You guys can see that uh, like as I'm reaching towards the last applications, these are opened on the Pixel. That is just how Google has done its optimization. Whereas OnePlus can definitely perform better in RAM management, but its gaming mode closes some applications uh, significantly. So it only kept like few apps, but it was definitely better than Pixel uh, when it comes to overall opened application. Now, apart from the RAM management, I'll have to say overall Pixel has to be the fastest phone I have ever tested this year as far as apps opening speed is concerned. As far as the boot speeds are concerned, I mean, this phone is a beast. If only Google optimizes the RAM management completely, I mean, this phone is going to be the king of the speed test. And uh, I'm really shocked that it even outperformed OnePlus 70 Pro in a lot of apps opening speed, like in a lot of gaming speeds, because even with the 855 Plus, so that is really shocking. That really shows the optimization of the pure 
Android. So it's only the RAM management that Google needs to fix. Other than that, this phone is pretty damn awesome speed wise. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for other videos. I will be posting the battery drain test pretty soon. And then of course, there will be a camera test as well. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.